Oh, what's up guys, Alpha Predator Kim Bradley here and welcome to another episode of Road to Rank where I climb the online ladder and provide my commentary as I go. In this episode we will go further with the Amber Rain deck. Uh, if you missed the list and the deck explanation, please be sure to watch the previous episode. So let's jump quickly in a match. Challenge. So this deck, in my opinion, is pretty good. Okay, we are fighting against the dollar. Which is, in my opinion, a good matchup for Amberin because you you can pretty much control um, his board with the weapons, so he can take much of an advantage against you. So let's see what he does. Maybe a turn to drop of the Yard Blade Dancer would be awesome. So hmm. Word of Prophet, or the Prophet, this is not a common card for Zaldar. Uh, I saw Word of the Prophet in a <clears throat> in a particular build of Zaldar, which was the if if I remember well the the Crystal Cannon Zaldar. So let's see what it does. Okay, no antimatter. So hmm, what is going to play? Okay, if it did not play anything, I go just straight up with my Blood Frenzy so I get the, my card advantage and let's see what he is going to do so the, the, the next turn we are if we draw weapon we are going to play weapon or maybe we are going to drop the Priest of the Light to deny his, uh, his Shadow Energy so maybe he's the right player right now so another word of Prophet huh? It's pretty strange. I, mean, I don't know what he's going for. So maybe we want to keep the Crippling Blow or not? So if we go for a Blood Frenzy... No, I think not. Maybe he has the Rapturous Vermin and I don't want to lose too much of a, of a control. So let's just go go face. And right now we have pretty much a stable board. So it depends on the following turn what we can do is play a weapon and a 3 drop if you draw 1 or maybe go for a... okay, is it discard Zaldar? seems like it's a discard Zaldar, so let's see if you draw a 3 drop maybe we don't need this machine blowing this match, as I see so it's strange if he has the word of the prophet but never mind so yeah should I go weapon? Or Braxner and Soldier. So maybe with the Braxner and Soldier you can regain the board. But if I go for a weapon. No, I'm just going for a weapon right now. Use the ability, pump up the weapon. And maybe I'm going to play the Bad Santa because I have actually no cards in my hand it's only 3 cards so what I want to do is fill, fill up my hand and the following turn with the 2 bonus cards from the Blood Frenzy I'll be full so he's not taking much of advantage of a Bad Santa because he's, he's drawing only 1 card so let's see what he does hmm we also have the Slyon Seductress and Alden the Brave so what he's going to do maybe is to use his power to heal the Priest of the Light and try to regain the world with a <clears throat> another ally. Okay, we see a Reactuary. No, oh, not much of a big player for him. So maybe what what he wants to do right now is to dig for a Soul Reaper and then force me to. Okay. Okay, we're going to discard the, the Crippling Blow because I know that Zadar discard has has a lot of um, as well a couple of Rapturous Vermin and one to to lose my Blood Frenzy or weapon. Weapon is not a problem, but Blood Frenzy is because I don't want to to lose my my ability to destroy him. So we're going for a Braxton or Soldier. Attack with the weapon and play a Naldon the Brave. Yes. So we are pretty much setting up our our assault. 
So what we are going to do, maybe right now is going to play a mind control on the Braxton Soldier for sure. And in the following turn I'm going to follow up with my Visca and the Alliance Doctress. So I don't care if Alliance Doctress, I use Alliance Doctress for aggro, but well this is the situation and I want to drop him low health uh, pretty fast. So he's forced to play an effective uh, Soul Reaper. So yeah, right now, since I discovered my true creeping blow, the world frenzy is not much of a... not helping. So yeah, going for the Vesca. This is 10 damage, pretty much. So in the following turn, we also have a pumped up weapon. So he can't respond. Maybe what he can do is just play a frostmare or a 2 drop and then use the uh, energy discharge to destroy my board, to disrupt my board. But at this point he is either forced to play another mind control or use the soul reaper. So in the following turn I am going to follow up with 9 damage. Or 10 damage, because I have the reserve weapon. So yeah, we are, if he goes, goes mind control we are 1 damage off little. So maybe right now what you can do is just oh shadowing shadowing so yeah we have little so yeah I'm going to kill him with war flail so yeah this is little pretty much an easy game in my opinion So yeah, as you as you can see, Zaldar is not a a problem for Amber because he has no way to destroy your weapon. Generally, has no way to destroy your weapons. Yes. So, and his creatures are cheap and low wealth, so you're pretty much set up for a easy matchup. So let's run quickly on the second battle. Oh, and he, we have a, another Alpha Predator. Oh. Yes. Hi, Cole. You are on TV, buddy. So we have pretty much a bad hand, starting hand, but the retreat is pretty much a good card against elementalists. Oh, he's offering a draw. So uh, we are, I'm going to accept. <laughs> so did, maybe he didn't want to lose some rating, or we just don't like to fight each other in QM. So let's find another match and wait for another opponent. So yeah, elementals are pretty much an easy matchup for this kind of Umbrain list because you have retreats to disrupt enemy pumped up allies except said fast allies. For example, you can't retreat to the 2-6 the ally which allows you to draw a card or a pumped up ally with the exaltation. So yeah, we're fighting against a number, uh, I'm sorry, the Anarami matchup. So this might be a real trouble because it depends on my starting hand and it depends on what kind of Aramias this is but right now a lot of Aramias are running a um, Twilight so I expect a Twilight matchup right now and the Creeping Blow will be much of a really useful right now so yeah what I'm going to do is play Yardblade Dancer and then the following turn follow up with the Alden the Brave to kill his to drop. So maybe what I want to see right now is a weapon because she is going to play the Twilight Raider list, which is kind of a bad card, really, really annoying to deal with. So what are we going to do? Creep. I want to keep the Creep and Blow, but I don't want there is a weapon right now so yeah I'm going to follow up with the with this one and if in the following turn we must drop something 
So what he has to do right now is drop another lie and then go straight for we are pretty much a bad starting hand. Okay, now he's going to just control the ball with the lightning strike. So we're going to follow up next turn with the Priest of the Light, maybe. Okay, this is pretty much helps us. Hmm. This is a, but this is a tough call. I want to kill my Crippling Blow and keep the Priest of the Light because in the next turn Priest of the Light is not much of a use right now so yeah I'm going to kill the, the Priest of the Light and play the Ransom so Actress hoping I will draw a weapon in the next turn so we don't have weapons or drawing genes or nothing else so pretty much deadly right now we are not in a absolutely not in a good position. So out of the Braves not helping. I want to keep the mana crippling blue. But I don't want to, to play it right now. So we're going to play a Braxonorian and see what it does, but at this rate we are going to lose pretty fast. Because we has we have no way to kill his to maintain the board because we have no weapons or no drawing genes, so we're our resources are dropping pretty fast. So yeah, that's pretty unlucky in my opinion. Also, he's destroying both of our lives with another lightning strike. So yeah, I, in my opinion, at this point there is no way I can come back. So against a army toilet, generally you are favored because you can maintain the board with your weapons and you can leave no no opening to your opponent but at, at this point there is no much nothing I can do with no cards in hand at turn 5 turn 6 so let's see what he's going to do but with a full hand I expect a he she completely shut downs me moreover he's drawing she's drawing every turn so uh, the third lightning strike <laughs> so I don't know why she's playing a lightning strike maybe she wants to maintain the world against that that card it is doing absolutely nothing so what she could do is just drop more allies in my opinion but yeah playing the person of the light so maybe she has enough follow up I don't know it's pretty hard in my opinion at this point she only has to to drop to drop some other ally yeah Ob obviously the, that was, this was the the good play so she attacks and she pumps up the 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 that one the toilet champion so at this point a retreat could also be useful so we draw basically nothing out of the over deck so this is pretty much a shame in my opinion. So yeah, she's just drawing the Twilight Eidolon and draw. So Twilight Left Bringer and she, she go for kill. So in my opinion she could also attack me because 6 damage at this point she could also go for face as I have no way to come back from the hell at this point map here so yeah go for up for the war flail pump up so she has no way to kill this war flail but yeah there is absolutely no way I'm going to win this match also because she, uh, she can just finish up finish me with the burn spells So we have them trail, so she's going to shred up my, all my armor. So yeah, this is pretty much insane. 8, 10, I'm going to 9, 9, 11. No, because the retrace doesn't die. 
She could also pump up the yeah to get some extra damage. Eleven damage. So I'm going to six. So she only needs a couple of fireball to win me. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Yeah. So this is pretty much GG. I have nothing to do right now to win this match. Absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to, to concede. So yeah, pretty much... Uh, oh man, we also lost 3. This was a 277 rating, really? <laughs> so we lost because of our really really bad hand. In my opinion Aramia has absolutely no way to win if you can drop a, an early weapon or a draw engine. So we didn't draw neither draw engines or weapons or retreats. Absolutely nothing. So this was pretty much of a one-sided match. So in my opinion we call that done better. But never mind. This kind of match happens. So this is enough for this episode guys, stay tuned for further episode as in the next week I'll play another another hero, maybe a Praxis one which someone wants to see because in the world's had a lot of success, maybe Praxis, I'm going to play a mate wagon Praxis, Praxis not mate Praxis also because the episode will take a lot of time to do. So okay guys, this is enough for this episode, see you, bye!